If you think about New York, Paris, London, and your image of high rise, I'm, I'm hoping that I can actually get you to think slightly different about that and about the problem in your own city. If you've got a nozzle, you're expected to flow at lower pressures than what it's actually set at, you should have an adequate flow, which again, we're gonna show this when we go outside tomorrow. Only a few departments use 45 millimeter hoses with nozzles up to 500 liters per minute. And the reality that we find in interacting with the just shy of a million firefighters and 33,000 fire departments in the United States is that the overwhelming majority are clueless when it comes to what's coming out of their novel. You know, in the States, we focus on surface cooling. Right, compared to the notion over here of focusing on gas cooling, two different approaches. Doesn't mean one's right, one's wrong. Your water's only gonna go from the halfway point to the other end. There's so many different things that we do in so many different farm rescue services, both in England, Europe, and America. And to see what other people do uh, is really important, but to understand why they do it is, is the key point. things like the hose packs, although we use them, that we don't really use them in the way that they use them. And I think we can benefit greatly from that. We've said time and time again, actually, how similar what we do is, with those little nuances that you know we need to talk about a bit more, I think. We're in the early stages of really high-rise implementation in terms of equipment and training. Sort of meet other people from across the world, uh, see what fires they're experiencing, some of the buildings that they have, some of the building construction problems they're encountering and the equipment they've purchased to counter that has been extremely beneficial. Even for me, after 30 plus years in the service, I realized some little things we were doing wrong in terms of our water application, you know? So it was great to just take part of this evolution here and just to see the difference it makes if you put the water in the right place. I put the, the pipe fully out. My spotter down there, usually we'd be on radio. Today we're just on hand signals. So I open this up slowly. It starts flowing. Now I move it back. And that's Ricardo saying that's really good right there. Can you can you hear the water? Yeah. Just? And there's no water coming down. If you were hitting a solid object, you would see the, the, the waterfall in front of you. The underfloor branches in particular. The smooth bore techniques, really interesting. Uh, it's something we moved away from probably 20, 30 years ago. Uh, we will now probably be coming back to implementing that into our uh, attack techniques. As an organization, it, it, would, it would take a lot to change our techniques overnight, but I would certainly, I could see the value of it. Now you have a lot more control to really It's been good from the instructor point of view in that there's been a massive 
cross-section of discussion around the branch techniques that, that they use, the door entry techniques, uh, fighting, the, the, the methods of fighting fire in comparison to America and Europe. I came in with assumptions. Uh, you know, I tried to keep an open mind. I had an impression of how fires were fought with gas cooling and that type of approach. Um, uh, certain things were validated, certain, th certain things were dispelled. I learned because I did it. How would I sum up this trip? Um, it's a small group of people that are really impacting the broad fire service. I actually commented to my American colleagues that um, the things that I had doubts about, I no longer have doubts about. And that ideas that I only kind of un understood in the context of books or maybe social media, you really don't understand them until you get the depth of knowledge that was available here this week. They've started something and I'm going to take it back to my service and certainly the other people I've spoken to are going to take it back and I can see us really employing these techniques. I think as we move forward in time a lot of the firefighting across the world is going to converge uh, and I don't think there's going to be so many differences in tactics based on the fact that we'll all be fighting close to the same fires. The whole week was kind of accumulating and blending this all together to a truly awesome learning experience for everyone.